One of Chris Paul's big roles is going to be, you know, I know everybody thinks we're, uh, they're four-time champions and Chris Paul hasn't earned it and he's a never won and he gets hurt. I think Chris Paul is one of the only guys who could come into this locker room with the support of Steph Curry. Clay's probably going to be on his way, but yeah. Draymond Green, Chris Paul can stand up to Draymond Green. Mm. And the reason he can stand up to Draymond Green is because Draymond Green's going to say to Chris Paul, you ain't never won anything. We won four times. And you know what Chris Paul's going to say? What? You're a coattail rider. You're, oh. the, you're the third best player. He's going, I'm just telling you, that's what he's going to say. That's what he's going to, I'm just telling you what he's going to say. If, if push comes to shove, Chris Paul's going to say, yeah, I don't have any rings because I didn't get to play with Steph and wow. Clay. Congratulations, Draymond. Wow. And I know it's, I know, and that's an exaggeration, <laughs> but if push comes to shove, yeah. and you know what, and the team, and the team is starting to get a little tired of Draymond, which I could see Steph getting a little tired of Draymond, and Kaminga is, you know what? And After Wiggins, 12 Wiggins years? Is a, Wiggins, Wiggins, is a pool, Wiggins is a pool guy. Wiggins is a pool guy, and I just don't think like, Draymond better, yeah. Draymond better be careful. Oh, oh, oh. How about that? <laughs> he comes to the beer, you stay for the heel turn. <laughs> he better be careful. <laughs> and I'll tell you what. Oh, here he goes. I'll oh, tell you what right now. <laughs> At the beginning of next year, Chris Paul's a warrior and Draymond isn't. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I'll tell you this, it's tiny, if the conversation comes to that, the oh, season oh, is cooked. There's yeah, no doubt no about doubt. that. Hey, if here's the, the other thing I was thinking. If the comes to that, Stiney's in his back. then the season is cooked. Yeah. Here, here's the other thing, I, I was thinking more about Draymond Green. I was like, oh, Stiney, hey, sign him to a four-year deal, and they love him, and hey, good's better than the bad, hey, and they know Lakers everything. Today? Yeah, he went to Willard. his house. Listen. Yeah. Draymond went to his house. Draymond. I love it. Dray, that, let me tell you how much emotion was put into the Draymond contract. 0.00. .00. Draymond getting paid was a, well, basketball to some extent, but a business decision. They can't let Draymond Green go for nothing. They gotta preserve the right to possibly move him if things go south. I kind of agree with that. That's why they signed Jordan Poole. What did you guys think about I'm that? I'm gonna lay out Draymond now. Green driving down to Joey Lightyear's house to have a one-on-one -on -one to maybe discuss the contract. Was it that the Warriors were saying, you know what? We can live without Draymond Green. I, that's un, To me, that's unheard of. Well, I can't I mean, break Jay, bread with what, what, my boss. Wait a minute, but Joe, huh? Lacob, Joe Lacob is sitting there with you guys yeah. a number of hours ago expressing how important it was to him yeah. that these, but, three, but he said, he kept that these say, three never wear another jersey. But he kept saying it's got to be the right business yep. sure. and winning yep. situation. Yep. Of course. And winning overrides whatever the feel good is. But yes, he would like to keep them all together, but he also realizes somebody's got to go. He said it. Yep. Someone might have to go some, at some point. Okay, so let's, he said this four years ago. He came to studio, what, 2018, 2019. He said, look, man, I, don't I have four nice. stars on the floor right now. I will have always have four stars on the floor. It may be different stars, so he's not afraid to make me make a bold trade and say, you know what? Right. I see a star in this guy. These guys are aging. This is what the great franchises do. The okay. great organizations throughout the history of the game. You guys were in the room with them, so let me ask you, and then we'll get the audience involved on this too. But I think there's one thing to listen to what people say, and there's another thing to be sitting next to them and get the vibe off of them. So the chances that Clay, Steph, and Dre never put on another jersey. I think they're all individually based, different. Based on the, well, Steph is... Steph, Steph is in a whole other category. But I mean it as one entity. A collective. Either either they do or they don't. If Giannis was available this summer, uh, upcoming summer, well, they would do well, whatever it well, takes to get him. One but guy what? may be available in Philadelphia, and that's Joel Embiid. Yes. I mean, you don't think the Warriors are going to sniff Joe around Lake like that? Joe Lacob superstars. Yeah, so that's that's I walked away, and he was like, I will go for anyone at any time to win 
championships. So you think the sentimentality angle of this <laughs> is overplayed by the fans? Did you hear the word optionality? Yes, yes. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They've okay. all said you, that. To me, that's and a that's big word. And that's why they signed Jordan Poole to have optionality. Yeah, yeah. And so, Draymond. Hey. So, so put a percentage on it. Just Keep pushing that. What do you think the chances are they all finish as Warriors? 75%. I'll go surprisingly 45%. See, I was thinking 50 45%. 50. Yeah. Yeah, I okay. was thinking 50-50. Wow. Why, uh, why do you think that, Bob? I'm in the 80-20, so yeah, I'm with you. It's Joe. just so rare I'm, for a player to finish his entire career, and this Clay thing is it's bigger than I thought, the contract with <clears> him, <throat> because we know how emotional he is. He talks about driving by Oracle Arena to get some of the good juju back, right? He's jumping in the water to kind of cleanse himself. I could see a guy like Clay. I don't think it, I don't know if it's going to happen. My guess is he'll be here, but I could see a scenario in which he's wearing a different uniform next season. A ask me. Next season? Ask me. Next Steiny, season. what do you we'll think? To you, hey, Steiny. hey, Steiny, yeah. what do you think? About 20%. 20%. And, and that's high. And I'll tell you why, because we're forgetting. We are forgetting a critical thing. <clears throat> Organizations that believe they are first class, top of the heap, they will do a favor yep. for great players late in their career. And I understand it's sacrilege to talk about any of those three guys leaving, but, and I get it, they're on a different echelon. But Chris Mullen was traded to Indiana yeah. at yep. the end of his career yep. for a young player. And you know what? They all said, Let, let's do this. And we'll bring you back as a warrior at the very end, which they did. That's possible. All right. We are at Fieldwork Brewing Company in San Leandro, and this is the preseason Warriors Summit on 95-7 the game. Bonte and Joe, Stiney and Goo, Will and Dibs, all of yeah. you. We appreciate the heck out of you. Let's get a little deeper into the Clay Thompson situation. And let's first, let's involve you. And I see you. I see you. We had one of the good listeners come up during the break, and he said to me, look, I, like I'm almost hurt to my core uh, with, with regard to the way Clay Thompson disrespect is being tossed around right now. So let's put it out to everybody, okay? Simply the idea of Clay Thompson not finishing his career as a warrior, are you emotionally open to that? Yes? <laughs> is anybody okay with it? Okay, you didn't make any noise. Like three hands were like me. All right, I'm okay. Well, with they it. don't want to be uh, you right. know, ostracized by vocalizing that they want Clay out. But obviously, as you guys are just pointing out, Joe Lacob is not going to run his business by emotion, Goo. What is the NBA about right now? It's about shooting. Could you imagine this Warrior team without Clay Thompson? Where are the shots coming from? Steph and who else? Oh, uh, crickets. So if Draymond got the 4 400, and I think it's so unfair that we sit up here and say a guy that met with his boss and his boss is cast. So to, to break bread, they've won four championships like Draymond went over there begging. To me, that signals Dre got one, Clay can get one. Let's talk, see about the number. I just don't believe they can allow Clay to walk and think you got a replacement on that team right now. You don't have a replacement because right now, to me, Dre, uh, Clay is more attractive on the open market because he led the NBA in most made three pointers than Dre. Draymond Green. But what, did, you what, go to, what, did you ever go to Nahegan's house? I might do it. Have you ever been to Nahegan's house? Oh, that's Invited yourself job. over for dinner? But I would not go. Well, you haven't. No, but I ain't been invited. <laughs> I ain't needed to go. Well, Draymond wasn't invited yeah, either. But why is that so <laughs> bad? Like you you went show up more more what, if, what, if, what if we ask you this? Yeah, you, say come there, on. you say there's no replacement for Clay Thompson. Not right now on the team. Well, but there you go. There doesn't need to be right now. So what if what's well, around the what that. if what's around the corner is unseen? All right. And I listen, I get it. I'm an emotional fan too. It would mean a lot to a lot of us if those three guys never put on another jersey. But here's the question the Dibs and I played with earlier today. How would you feel if it meant a couple years of mediocrity in exchange for they never walk. Well, ask Steph well, that question. Well, I don't no, think he would sign up for that. I'm asking you that question. I don't think, I don't want that. No, it's too late in the game for the big three to, to have just a couple years go by and we're just okay. It's about win right now. Malcolm X, any means necessary. So then that means you got to be open to him being gone at some point. 
You got to be open to it. Like, I look at it this way. We all just went through the Bob Meyer situation. Everybody is like, they want to stay. This goes for Steve Kerr, too. They want to stay, and we want him to stay. Well, then why isn't it done yet? Because somebody doesn't want to stay. Or... Money, or, there's there's or there's some question marks. there's not an agreement. Maybe, really. maybe there's question marks about the ability of said coach or said player. And it's like, you know what? Let's shake it up now. Bob Myers is already out the door. We're in a transitional period. I want my young guys to play and get a little more burn. Maybe there's options. Maybe they're talking to other people. That's what the great organizations do. They always stay ahead of the game, right? Joe Lightyear's bra Joey Lightyear's bragged about being ahead of everybody. We're smarter than everybody, right? They put the luxury tax in the second apron. Say, you know what? We're going to navigate through that. We'll beat that too. The great organizations are always a step ahead. So they they, they can budge when they want to budge. They budge when they want to budge. If Lakeup says, hey, we're going to move on, we'll move on. And they'll have a plan in place. You think this is lasting all season? It depends. I think the ball is in Clay's hands. And it's all about this. I don't discernment. Know. Here's well, what I'm saying. He's I don't shoot know. No, no, no. That. Discernment. That's discernment. The three Shot selection <laughs> discernment. And then self-awareness discernment. Like, is Frank Gore not a 49er? Would you guys all agree? Yes. Frank Gore is a 49er. He still saw himself as a feature back. And they were like, Frank, we love you. Everyone loves you. You're not a feature back anymore. Had he taken the discernment and maybe taken a, a, an evolved role, he probably would have retired a 49er. But he couldn't accept that. I don't know what Clay's willing to accept or adapt into. Right. I want to see him with Chris Paul. I think there's a better version than what we saw last year because I think he was asked to do things that he shouldn't be doing. Him dribbling with seven seconds left on the shot clock making a play is not a strength. That's just not. And I don't think that's on him. The makeup of the team forced him into a player that he is not. And I want to see what it looks like this year. What's his bounce back? What's his discernment? What's his willingness to adapt right. on the fly? Well, I think I, last, then last year was assessment. such a broken vibe that, and you saw him openly frustrated with Jordan Poole. You saw Curry throw a mouthpiece yes. over Jordan yes. Poole. So I think that that level of me first basketball that existed last year goes away this yes. year. Even though Clay's in a contract year, and yes, he led the league in three pointers made. He also led the league yeah. in three pointers Not taken. Down, down. So in terms of discernment, I wonder if Clay's going to dial it back while also trying to pursue that contract. I do think though that this lasts all year. I don't think this gets done until this entire well, season I, is over. I asked Lakeham about that today, like knowing what you know now with Draymond. Now he. Had the opt-in would you have done anything different and he was like no i wouldn't do anything different and i'm like i mean bob left right and draymond ended up staying and he had the opt-in i don't know i i, think I think about, it did hang over their head last year think about when they gave draymond that extension they could have made draymond going into a contract here on the team with pascal yes a rookie in jordan Poole, omari spillman how would right. that contract have looked <laughs> thrown out Kai the Bowman. Well, Everything Butch just said, I don't disagree with, but I think it's about money, not fit. Clay, be you. What if Clay says, I want Jalen Brown green, like no, our shirts? No. That, I think that's but, what it is. Jalen Brown? Listen, it's, it's easy to see why nothing's gotten done, as what? far as I'm concerned. What, okay, what, if you're Laker, what, do you, what would you try to pay him? I think he's in the 30 to $35 million that, okay. range. I agree. Yeah, would yeah, want to guess pay what? him way less than that. What? What's that? Lakeham would want to pay him less than that. Guess I what? Imagine. I don't think Clay would sign that. You're probably right. And that might because, be it because problem. because like you don't think 30, Clay would sign a thirty million dollars? He'd be the second I highest paid player on the Warriors. No, no. because, because if I'm Clay, if I'm Clay and I'm a player and I believe in myself, why would I want to take? Why would I want to be in a contract year after I just played like I played? You had to read him. Catastrophic the injuries. The owner Clay. just said that the finish by him was really not good. Oh, yeah. that was yeah. so. That was. If good. I'm Clay, I'm going to bet on myself. You know what, you guys? You think I might pout? Uh, you think I might be able to take a lesser role? I'll do all of it. Is that what that me against the world meme was about Maybe. the other day with Clay Thompson? You came out of nowhere saying it's me against the world. Is it him against the front office? Maybe. And, hey, I'm going to get my buckets and I, I leave. Think you might be onto something. Maybe. Listen, you think it's for, sadistic? For everybody listening, if you missed this part of the roast conversation with Joe Lake of this morning, he dove into this with regard to Clay's contract situation, the comparison with the conversation and negotiation he had with Draymond Green just a year ago. So, Grandy, give us AB25 on Joe Lake. Well, I hope it's not a distraction. I mean, we're not in control of this. I mean, there's two sides to every negotiation. We want him back. He wants to be back. It's kind of like Draymond. Right. I think you guys, everyone needs to just chill a little bit. 
let this take its course. My guess is it works out. Okay. Okay. You know, it, it, I can't control it. I can't dictate it. Uh, you can't dictate it. Right. Fans can't dictate it. These things have to take their course. There's different parties involved, but the intentions are really good. Well, the Draymond situation was different because he had an opt in and he could opt out if he chose to. True. But do you look back at how that went and and learn any lesson from that? Was it good, bad, indifferent? Was it just business? Like, did that have any tangible effect on the season last year? You think? Oh, it might have, but I don't. I mean, I think there. Look, there were some issues last year with respect to some of the contracts. Some of the other guys got contracts. I know you're referring to. Um, maybe, maybe it did. Um, I don't think there's going to be anything like that this year, though. Yeah. I, I really don't. Uh, Clay's a professional. Um, respect him tremendously. And we're, we're going to do our best to get this done. And, yeah. uh, you know, hopefully it is done sooner rather than later, but it might not be. Bonte, you just said it. The IG post, I bet a lot of them don't know. The me against the world thing that Clay Thompson put up. I mean, there's always more than meets the eye when it comes to situations like this. Do, do you think there is, and I don't want to call it some sort of argument, discord, what have you, but are there, uh, where do you think the feelings are? Uh, in this negotiation right now between these two sides. From Clay, I, I'm kind of with Steindy. Hey, I'm going to bet on myself. I'll lead the league in threes. I'll shoot 41%. In a league that values shooting in this era more so than any era before in basketball, somebody will spend the money on Clay Thompson because of his jump shot. So they could a company, they want to wait and see it out. Should we invest? And look, maybe there's a thing with them paying Clay Thompson for those first two years we didn't get any ROI as Guru would say return on investment. It's not nobody's fault. It is what it is. Catastrophic injuries happen. That's sports. Maybe the Warriors too are saying, you know what? Let's see how we adjust. Let's see him guard for us this year. Let's see how he plays in a small ball lineup. And can he finish games for us? If not, you know what? We may have to make a tough decision here. I, I just don't like in these situations. Who are the teams giving Clay Thompson close to maximum money? Well, there's always a sucker in the, the NBA. But, but there aren't that many slots. There, there's always somebody in the NBA who will bite the bullet and say, okay, you know what, this so guy's a knockdown shooter. for Charlotte? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Well, but, that's kind of, like, that's what goes into my mind, Steiny, when you say if I'm Clay Thompson, I'm not signing that deal right now. I'm not. I, I, I don't disagree with you, and I know that's how a lot of players think. I think a lot of people in this room with us here today, though, when we talk about the Warriors having emotion in the negotiation and wanting Clay to wear a jersey for his entire career, we all sort of think that Clay should too. And, and I'm not asking a player to take a discount by any stretch. But where does that idea factor into this? If you really do want to stay, if you want the value of wearing the same jersey your entire career, should Clay take a little something off? So that he can stay? We know that Clay's not the guy who wants to take anything off. He's the guy who said, I'm not sacrificing when Durant came. That was six he, years ago. He's also the guy who said four rings to Devin sure. Booker because he's. it is very important to Clay Thompson. Maybe more than money that he's respected. He wants respect. And if Joe Lacob said, hey, 30, we'll just give you 30. Well, like with a cap going up. We don't know like that. We don't know that. I think I think we, we can pretty much assume because that. because TNT. Well, we can have a different okay, discussion. Okay, but my point is, is that discussion. is that 40, 40, 43 million dollars now is he's the eighth like, highest paid so, player last year. Like thirty five to forty mil, million dollars is is. There's room to go up. Right. Is what too I'm much saying. On, to this take. Team, yes. on this edition of the Go to State Warriors, who's more important? Is it Dre or Clay? With what they want to do. Because, boy, they play some good basketball without Draymond you know what? Green. I think it's Clay. And Clay's I more important on this team. And I'll tell you why. You here's, the, here's, the, here's the blessing. And the Draymond's going to, you know, he's going to play. And most of the time he's going to help you. And when he doesn't play well, he doesn't hurt you. When Clay play, plays badly, he hurts you. He gets you beat. Draymond doesn't get you beat. Draymond can stay 50-50, and he's still going to make some good. Clay's now had some games where he has really hurt the Warriors. Steph's never going to hurt the Warriors. When, uh, look at Wiggins, even. Wiggins is never going to really kill the right. Warriors. But Clay is the one player who's That's highly volatile. What do you think, B? You think Dre's more important? It's an. I think Clay needs so much help with the spacing of the floor at this stage of his career that he can't do the things that he could do five years ago. So what does that look like when he's playing with two big lineups? Again, 
When they played Sacramento and they went to the one big lineup, Clay saw some of the best shots he saw all season long. When Steph and Dre were hurt and he had to carry the Warriors in January and March, the spacing was a lot better because he had a lot of shooters out there on the floor, although they were kind of small and had some average defenders. So he needs space more so than anybody. And I think with Draymond on the floor and Looney on the floor, that affects Clay Thompson's yes, game to agree. where he's forcing shots and everybody's up in his airspace. I'll say this. Clay Thompson, I mean, I'm such a huge fan of the guy and, and, and everything that you guys are saying right now, just from the basketball sense, that's one side. The emotional side, though, that we were just talking about. Here's one thing that does get me. It doesn't feel good when he brings this stuff to the party, holding up the fours in people's faces when he's not playing well. And then there's this. Steiny, if you say he's the guy who just always wants the ultimate respect, how come we're not talking about the fact that the Warriors showed up to the hospital with a max contract? There. How come that's not still a part of this? If you're going to go up on stage and say, I can't believe the Warriors did that. Who does that? That came out of his mouth. Why is that not in his brain still today when it comes time to talk about a contract again? We don't know it's not. Fair. In, 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 that's fair. Because we, we don't fair. really know any of the numbers. But it, it, it may be, you know, the one thing Joe Lacob's always been consistent about, even when Durant was taking those one-year contracts, is he's like, players have the right. Players have the right to explore free agency. And I think that's just where we're at right now. Like, if I were Clay, I'm coming off a bad year. I, I almost don't. I don't want to give them the chance to kind of lowball me, which is the way I'm going to feel. I know I'm going to feel well, that way. And this is the first chance he's had at free agency since he got badly hurt, yep. right? Yep. So before that, it was many years prior, and now you're in a spot where this is it. If he takes a contract with the Warriors, he ends his career as a Warriors, or he plays this year out, and he has a chance to put himself out there for the first time, which is what Draymond did. Draymond opted out, and reportedly Sacramento had an offer that was sweet there, and he decided to stay. So maybe Clay wants that opportunity now. No disrespect. This is the Warrior Summit 2023 Fieldwork Brewing Company in San Leandro. <laughs> all three shows, talking it out, all of the different Warriors angles. Guru, what you want to say? Uh when I saw that IG post, and I now believe this, that athletes right now, entertainers, they use their social media to send the subliminal messages. So when I saw uh, me against the world, that was a shot at the front office in these negotiations. And I do know this, Willard. They say it in the street, and they say it in the sport leagues. You never speak on the next man's money. But Clay Thompson, I would tell him this. You won the negotiations with that last contract. You're getting the Ronnie Lott, 42 million. They had your back when you didn't play for two years. How could you possibly want that 42 to you gave go your up? Body. Unless, you gave your body okay, to the organization. Okay, I That's that. what he's saying. But my favorite breakfast, my favorite breakfast food, is waffles and this had this reeks of ego <laughs> not ego this reeks of ego <laughs> come on, and if man. Clay is trying That's to get money if he's trying to get I mean, money Willard then I feel like you can't look at the team that you want to stay here that raised you from a pup that drafted you so should he 30? take a bargain no. should he take a discount but deal but what's now? really a bargain 30 to what's Clay you're not the two way player well, we don't that know you what got the, the original complaint right I think he wants more than what he's getting now well, I don't think he's getting more than what he's getting out but who is probably, giving he probably wants more than what he's being offered. 50 million a year <laughs> well, <laughs> what uh, are we talking right now nobody that's a, <laughs> i agree that never may know. be why he wants to play it out <sighs> and ha what so do we, all, be here we all think that what? Draymond had a higher offer than what the Warriors gave? Ask yeah. Donnie yeah. that. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do too. Maybe. I do too. By the way, but the situation we, wasn't better. That's my point. <laughs> the the situation would have point. maybe exposed him for some of the shortcomings that he I has agree. on the basketball floor. Not to yeah. disrespect Draymond, you know he's a Hall of Famer, but I think Draymond you know? wants to play for another team way less than Clay Thompson. Yeah. Like I think Clay Thompson. Why do you would, say that? Because I think Draymond knows that if he goes somewhere else, without step, yeah, it could get dicey. But Clay, <laughs> hey, you better be careful. Clay ah. has the kind of mentality where careful. he says, 
I love Steph, but if you get me away from him, I'll get you 39. Right. <laughs> well, and if Draymond goes somewhere else and he averages a double single and they go 25 yeah. and 57, all of a sudden you're right or about 15 and 52. Well, then we're talking about, you know, him being, quote, exposed. Even though he's a Hall of Famer, he won't be looked at it the same way as he is here when yeah. his double single leads mm. to championships. Yeah. <laughs> I also think we're putting numbers on this that we don't even know if they're exactly. true. Yep. The, the, the media is the one that has said 30 to 35 million dollars and Stein you say he wouldn't take it maybe he would because Joe you've got a point what's up waste you've management got a point. Tony Soprano waste showed management. it <laughs> let's go the mom we'll is here the mom morning. is here no you, you've got a point who's giving him 35 a year Look, next all year all I'm saying is no, this you're you guys, right. have, you you're guys right. have all bought homes right at some point or you've had a negotiation of some sort you can't always get what you want Man. Man. But it's the truth. Like, in a good negotiation, you take a little off top on both sides and you meet in the middle. And I feel like in this situation, if Clay is asking for something that's a little gratuitous, well, then he's going to have to walk. Well, here's the way I see it. If there's been an offer, and I believe there has, he doesn't like it. I agree. No if doubt he liked about the offer that no he got, doubt about it. he would I agree. sign it. So I agree. If, I, if I'm Clay, all of the loyalty, shout out Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, I'm going to give four. I had it on this morning for breakfast for the baby. But all that's way in the past. Right now you're worried about this year, yes. this contract, all the rest of that doesn't matter. What, uh, what do you think about this? One thing we learned from Bob Myers is that, you know, like, don't make a decision until you have to. Right. Now, Organizations that are trying to get to championships, they can't afford to do that all the time. But if you think you're a championship team, then you do want to push everything. Push, push, push. When Draymond opted out, they had to deal with it. They had to. Clay, they do not have to deal with Clay right now. They don't. So And they shouldn't. And so the Bob Myers philosophy of let's just yeah, go ahead and kick it what down the road. What if he takes here? it on the court? What if he takes it on the court and he's off to a horrible start? We're not going to be like it's a con that's a dark cloud. When's the, the, when's the trade deadline? When's the trade um, deadline? Yeah, February. Okay. I um, mean, hey, wow. if he takes it on the court and things aren't working, hey, you deal him. You send him to Charlotte. Well, that's. <laughs> I mean, well, you know what? Of all places, he, said to that's a little much. he grew up in Portland. That's he grew up in Portland. Send him to Detroit and get Wiseman back. Think, we I, need a big. I, I do think that, I mean, the whole fan base, we, we're, we're in a soap opera state of mind because of what happened last that's year. That's real talk. And that, that is not actually the way this organization normally operates, nor should it. So, um, should they play softball? No. But should they play hardball? I, I wouldn't think either. There is a mutual respect that I think is back in the building that had been lost last year.